I'm really shocked and disappointed that Ofgem have given some energy companies permission to force install prepayment meters again on customers in debt, especially after what happened last year. You may remember the British Gas investigation, where vulnerable customers like single mums with babies and the elderly were wrongly forced on these meters when debt collectors breached the rules. We broke into this home, even though a neighbour had told us there was a single dad and three children living inside. The family was out, but on the living room floor, there was a child's Ventolin asthma inhaler and eczema cream. The debt collector leading the team did not seem phased by the signs that children were living in the home. For the benefit of court recording, uh, no risks, no vulnerabilities uh, on site, uh, ending court recording now. The British gas engineer explained how he thought the family would probably get cut off from their heating. He said the account was in the generic name of occupier, so they might not automatically be sent a top-up card. British gas sacked debt collectors of Arto for misconduct following an inquiry that found at least 13 cases where the meters were installed incorrectly. This left vulnerable people in the cold if they couldn't afford to pay for their energy. British Gas alone installed 25,000 prepayment meters under court warrant last year. It's disgraceful that 600,000 homes were forced into prepayment meters to top up to get warm last year when the cost of living crisis peaked. It's heartbreaking that some pensioners pensioners were choosing whether to eat or heat the home. What kind of a choice is that? By installing these prepayment meters, it's backing people who are financially struggling into a cold corner. Ofgem, the energy watchdog, banned this forced meter installation last year after discovering debt collectors barging into vulnerable homes. Now, after some promises from energy giants EDF, Octopus and Scottish Power, they're back at it. The rule was lifted on the 8th of January this year. Ofgem's Director General Tim Jarvis says they're all about protecting consumers. They've laid out some conditions for these energy companies to follow before forcing these meters on anyone. The new rules say no forced installations if you're over 75, have kids under two or have a terminal illness. Plus, they've got to make at least 10 attempts to contact you before they even think about barging in. My worry is that it took an investigative inquiry to stumble across debt collector cowboys last time. And the fear is that not everybody knows their rights. The energy companies are saying they're not evil villains. They claim to be focusing on helping customers customers manage their debt. But is this really the way to do it by letting people freeze? Energy prices have crept up again this month and more people will start to fall into arrears in the coldest part of the year. Energy companies can make some terrible mistakes. I saw an awful story about a pensioner last year facing legal action unless he paid an energy bill of nearly 13 grand. This proud man became a recluse and stopped eating his house. He didn't answer the door, afraid that it could be debt collectors knocking. Upon their investigation, he was told there'd been a meter mix-up. The bill was eventually cancelled, but that was after months of unnecessary stress and fear of turning the heating on to keep warm. As far as I'm aware, he wasn't even awarded any compensation. If you're struggling to pay your energy bills, here's a quick three-point guide. First, check your direct debit. Your monthly payment might be based on an estimate and you could be overpaying. If you don't have a smart meter, make sure that you give your energy supplier readings once a month for three months just to make sure that they've got your bills right. Talk to your supplier. If you can't meet your payments, ask for an able to pay plan based on what you can afford. If you're falling behind, it's important to communicate because your energy company may be able to step in and help. Check that you're claiming all the benefits that you're entitled to. For example, the Department for Work and Pensions are paying out 25 quid if we have a cold spell that lasts longer than seven days and you could receive multiple payments if you're entitled to them. There's more information on the government's website. If you have elderly relatives, it's worth looking up the Green Doctors. It's a free service provided to vulnerable people and one of their amazing staff comes to the home and assesses any changes that could be made. They help people struggling to pay bills, in fuel debt and get help making small improvements to keep the heat in. 
If you think that anything untoward is happening with your energy company, then make an official complaint. If you feel that there hasn't been a satisfactory resolution and the problem still isn't sorted after eight weeks, then you can escalate it to the energy ombudsman. Let's get through these cold months and look forward to switching off our heating this spring.